employee by employee basis as well as a total basis, noting that this employee by employee data would have to be given to the employees both on a year to date basis and on a paycheck by paycheck basis. So you can imagine this, what's this going to do for the accounts that will be impacted? They earned, Adam earned 4583 we held from them, did not give them a portion of their earnings because we're going to pay on their behalf their taxes of 720 for FIT, their federal income tax that they're going to then see on their W-2 and that's going to be on their on their tax return. The 248 for the Social Security, which I did the dyslexic number switch on it, and then the 66 for the Medicare. So the net income would be the 3548, the 3548. For Erica, we got the 2,400. Her FIT, we're going to say, is 360 that we withheld. We also withheld her taxes of 149 and the Medicare of the 35. You can imagine putting that into our system as two separate transactions, the expenses being this amount, the payable that we owe to the government, not because there are our taxes incurred, there are the taxes incurred by the employees that we took from them and are going to pay on their behalf because we're forced to by the government and then we would have the decrease to the checking account by the net check. Now if this was something that was done by a third party like a paychecks then you can also just say I just want to look at the gross I just want to look at the, the whole thing total and just think of it as one employee that I'm going to put into my system to get the financial statements correct. So in that case, I could put a journal entry in place and say, I'm just going to increase the, the expense for the payroll expense by the gross amount, the total amount of the 6983 for both employees, and then have the payroll liability of the FIT, Social Security, and Medicare for both employees go up with one transaction instead of two, and then the net income decreasing the checking account, the amount that we are actually paying out. Now, if you were to do it that way, you have to still be careful because that means that you're going to post something to the checking account in a lump sum number instead of as it's going to appear when it clears the checking account, which is these two numbers right here. So, so even if you did the journal entry, you, you want to be careful with that last component.